Bernardo uh, was moved from a maximum security penitentiary to a medium security penitentiary, and Minister Mendicino said he was shocked, totally shocked. But now we know that he was informed three months earlier and did absolutely nothing. At least two emails that he got from correction services informing him of this move. And then after the fact, he claimed that he knew absolutely nothing about it. This is not the first time Mr. Mendicino has lied to Canadians. I have a list. You need a list because it's hard to keep track. He lied saying that the police had asked him to bring in the Emergencies Act. They did not. He misled a federal judge by backdating documents. He admitted in committee that the RCMP was using spyware to gain information on Canadians. He lied that the Safe uh, Third Country Agreement was working. He claimed it was impossible to close Roxham Road, something that has now happened. Um, he claimed that his amendments would not ban hunting rifles. And then later on, he had to admit that they did ban hunting rifles and reverse those amendments. He said that uh, the, RC, that the uh, CSIS report on Michael Chong's family being targeted by a former government did never left CSIS. We now know that the documents went from CSIS to the Prime Minister's National Security Advisor. He claimed there were no more Chinese-controlled police stations in Canada. Now we know there are at least two. And he lied about his knowledge that Paul Bernardo was being moved from a maximum security penitentiary to a medium security penitentiary, something that he has the power to stop. So he lies and lies and lies and lies. He lies about suspending the civil liberties of Canadians. He lies about banning hunting rifles for law-abiding Indigenous Canadians and farmers. He lies about uh, Canadian parliamentarians being targeted by foreign intimidation. And now he's lied about his knowledge and role in moving Paul Bernardo from a maximum security penitentiary to a medium security penitentiary. These are too many lies. It's one lie too many. It is time for Marco Mendicino to resign.